many of us are going to be working with large files and many of us are also going to be working with files that we're going to want to print. Now if I try to print this very very large document you're going to see that it's not going to fit not only into one page because it is such a long document but more importantly I want it to print by one page widthwise. So if I go over to here to my file menu and I click on print you're going to see I have a nice little preview. Now in the bottom you're going to see it's going to be one of twelve. Now if you look at the preview itself you're going to see I'm going only from January to February. So if I come down here and I go through each individual page you're going to see it still goes from January through September and then when I get to my seventh page it now splits it at October and then it continues on from there. So it's a little bit odd. So we do have some solutions for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so my orientation is now going to go landscape but I'm also going to scale it so it's going to fit perfectly widthwise. So let's go ahead and click on my little back button here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my page layout tab and then from here right beneath that tab you can see I have orientation and very simply I'm going to choose landscape. And when I do that you're going to notice here on the far right hand side I get this little dash telling me that in fact that is where the end of the page is going to be. Let's go ahead and click on file and then print one more time and you can see it does a pretty good job. Now if it doesn't do that good of a job we can go ahead and do one more thing here. And What we can do is we can say in my page layout tab under scale to fit make your width not do automatic but make it be one page. So no matter what if you're going to add on any more content in there it's going to fit into one page widthwise. Let's go ahead and now go back to file and go to print and you can see here once again it's a perfect fit. Now within my print dialog box I do have the option of going directly to my page setup option and I also right above that have the option to fit all columns on one page which essentially is the same thing as saying fit to width within one page. Now one other thing you may want to do, I'm going to go ahead on the back button, is change my layout options. So if you look over here in the lower right, I'm currently in my normal view. If I click on page layout and you'll be able to see how my page ends right here, I'll be able to notice that. Now that doesn't really affect anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the far right here, I'm going to choose my page break preview option. And when I choose that you're going to see here how I can control all my pages right from here. Now how do I control them? Well if you'll notice these purple lines right here I can control what the end of that page is going to be. So some of you may end up with a page that's going to look let's just say like this and this is going to get cut off. So very easily all I need to do is move my mouse over the line where that purple ends and just simply click and drag. And let's say for example I wanted to end this perfectly at line 130 or store 130 and then I click and drag that. Now I have some control over my pagination. Then I'm going to quickly go back to my normal view and now here I am and then I'll go over to here to file and then print and you'll notice how my first page now ends at 130 exactly how I designed it to be. And once again I got there by going over here to this third icon right there for my page break preview. So lots of great options we can do within the page layout tab, looking at our orientation, changing it from portrait to landscape, also changing my scale to fit as necessary and then likewise going here to my third option over here, my page break preview and once again don't forget you can make a lot of these changes right here in your print dialog box and by also going over here to your page setup link to adjust the pagination options as well. Don't let your momentum stop here. Check out our recommended playlist for more helpful videos to boost your skills. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.